Welcome everybody. Today we're going to create a horizontal recycler view. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Chrome and I have a couple of tabs up and we need to add something to the build.gradle file. So you can see I'm at this URL right here. I got to it just by Googling uh, Android recycler view and here it is right here. It's the first result. And what we need to do is scroll to the bottom and add some dependencies. It'll pull in a bunch of code for us. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go back to Android Studio. And you'll notice here that I have, uh, I'm in Android View. There's a number of views you can have, but I prefer Android View. I'm going to open up Gradle Scripts, and we want the module one, so module app. Let's scroll down to the bottom, put this in here. And if you see, it's giving us some errors here. Um, basically, go up to the top and see what your target SDK version is. And uh, that's 25. So let's go ahead and change this to 25 and this to 25 also. And you'll notice that it's still giving you an error. So put your mouse over it. And it says there's a newer version 25.0.1 at the time of this recording. So I'm going to type that in and that should get rid of that. Same thing here 1.0. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then we need to sync our Gradle file. So I'm going to hit the sync button. And this will just pull down the code from the, it'll pull in the code that we need, which is the card view and the recycler view. We need both of those. And it looked like it just finished. So um, let's go to main activity. Not much going on here. Actually, let's go into activity main.xml. You can get to it in the resources layout file. And again, I'm in the Android view and not the project view. I'm in the Android view. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the text and let's go ahead and let's just get rid of this and we need to create a recycler view so recycler view match match and i'm going to go ahead and um, do something here i'm going to end it that way and we need to give this recycler view an id so id enter enter recycler view and i'm just going to go ahead and reformat the code with option command L, that'll just sort everything. And you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this padding because I don't think we want it in there. So if we go back to the design view, we should have, I'm not sure what that was about. Anyway, I think we're good here. So we have our recycler view. Now let's go ahead and go back into main activity. And I'm using the keyboard shortcut there. Let's go ahead and do um, private recycler view and recycler view. And I'm just hitting control space bar. So if I go back, say I want to go back a couple, um, control space bar will automatically, um, hit, it'll, it'll help you out. So now let's do private, oops, dot layout manager and layout manager. So we have that. Now let's let's go let's go here just to make sure we're on the right track. So if you if you're following along, where are we? Yeah. So if you're following along, we're basically just setting up some variables at the top. So now we need an adapter. So private, and I think that was um, recycler view dot adapter m adapt adapter and I'm just hitting control space bar again I'm gonna put a semicolon save it reformat the code with option command L that'll format the code Con command s will save it so that's looking good right now now let's go let's go inside of our on create method which is right here and let's go ahead and link it link this the the Java file over to the the to over to this file here so let's go ahead and do um, and recycler view equals find view by id r dot id dot recycler view. Put my mouse over it. Option enter enter that'll cast it to the recycler view. There are a couple more things we need to do. So let's go ahead and see what we have to do next. Let's set up a couple of things. So m recycler view dot set um, has fixed size true. This basically this will enhance performance. So it'll just make things, um, if, you know, if you know how big your list is gonna be, this will help you out with performance. So now let's do m layout manager equals new, I think it's linear layout manager. Yeah, new linear layout manager. 
and if I, if you just pause it'll tell you what you need here we need the hint um, and we need the context so I'm just gonna pass in this so now let's do m recycler view oh, that's not it m recycler view dot set layout manager and layout manager and now we need to do a couple more things let's do m adapter equals new main adapter and we'll just do it we'll, we'll create that class in just a second now let's do m recycler view dot set adapter and m adapter so there we go and if we run this actually we can't run it right now because it'll fail but if we put our mouse over um, if you put our mouse over our main adapter, I'm going to hit Option Enter, and then it'll give me some suggestions. And the first one is Create Class Main Activity. I'm just going to hit Enter a couple of times, and here we are. Um, so I'm just going to, it'll tell you what we need back here, but let's see. So. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this for a second. That'll get rid of the well. I'll get that'll get rid of the error temporarily. But what we need to do is we need to extend something. So we need to expand. Expand. So we need to extend. Recycler view. So recycler view dot adapter. And then I think we need. Yes. Yeah, so main adapter dot view holder. And it's giving us some errors. I'm going to put my mouse over it and do option enter. Implement methods, that's good. Now we're going to put my mouse over the view holder. Option enter. Create class, and it'll create that for us. And this needs to, this is an enter class here. So this right here is an enter class. We need to extend recycler view dot view holder. So if you noticed, um, for the past couple of seconds, that generated a lot of code. Look at all this code that got generated for us. It's a lot of code. So now let's go ahead and we're getting one more error. So I'm going to put my mouse, and we can tell because of the red squiggly line at the bottom. I'm going to put my mouse over it and do Option Enter, um, and it'll it'll automatically hit that for us. So now let's go ahead and do something. Um, let's go ahead and set up a variable here. So let's go public, and it's important that it's public. Text view in title. And we'll get to that in just a second. Inside of here, we'll do m title equals find view. Let's uh, that. We have to use the item view here. So item, let's see item view dot find view by id r dot id dot title. And this is gonna fail. Um, I'm just gonna hit. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my mouse over it and do option enter. And then the first option will cast, it'll add the text view there. We need to create a new layout for our recycler view. So let's go ahead and do that now. New, and we'll name this row, and that's fine for now. We need to do one thing inside of here. We need to add a text view. Because if you remember, our text view, we have a we have a text view right here with M title. Um, and we're using find view by ID and we're getting the ID of title, but we don't we don't have that quite yet. So let's go text text view actually let's do both of those wrap and we'll do ID title so there we go so now we're now we're making a lot of progress here but we still have some more work we need to do let's go ahead and do something we need to pass I know something we can work on now we need to actually pass some data from this activity to the recycler view because right now we don't have anything to display so let's fix that really quick. I'm going to go up to the top here and do private array list string and data set. So what so what this is doing is basically saying that we want a list of something. And what is it going to be? It's going to be a string, which can be a name. It can be just characters, uh, alpha, alphanumeric. It can be characters. So a string, you should know what a string is. So now let's go down to here and let's see. Let's do m data set equals new array list and we're just going to initialize it there we have to do that now I'm going to do for I and if you if you type for I it'll automatically fill it out for you and we'll do this let's see 30 times and we'll do m data set dot add and we'll do new title number plus I 
So here we go, we have the data. We need to pass it from this class called main activity over to main adapter. So how do we do that? Let's do it this way. We have an adapter right here. So let's go ahead and do, and we'll pass in, let's pass in M data sets. And it's giving us an error right now because we don't actually uh, have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into our main adapter and I'm gonna look for, uh, let's go ahead and do something here. Let's go ahead and add in private array list string m data set. So basically kind of like what we have at the other end there in here, but we're st it's still giving us an error because we're, we, we're passing it from this main activity class over to main adapter. So let's go into main adapter. I'm gonna put a couple of enters, press alt enter, I'm sorry, control enter and we're gonna do constructor, enter, enter. There we go, and that should get rid of that error. So now we're successfully, successfully passing in our M data set into main adapter. So I'm just holding down the control key, and we can go right into main adapter. So there's more work we have to do. Let's see what else we have to do. Um, let's, let's go ahead and go in here. Actually, I kinda of know what we need to do. Um, one thing we can do is our get item count. We're gonna get the length of this data set here and set it to that. So let's do m data set dot size. Save. And we still have more, even more work we have to do. So let's go ahead and go back and see what else we have to do. I'm just gonna copy some of this code here. This is again the Android documentation on, on create view holder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm gonna get rid of some of these comments here. We don't need those. And now you'll notice that it's giving us an error here because we, we named ours row. So let's go ahead and do row. And then there's one more thing we have to do. We actually have to set the text. So let's do holder dot m title and m title, remember it's down here. And then we'll do that set text. And then we'll do, then we have our data set up at the top here, so m data set. So we'll do m data set dot get, and we'll pass in the position. The position is right here. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go ahead and run it and be risky just to see what happens. I'm not sure we're finished with it yet, but this, this may give us an error, and if it does, Okay, cool, so it actually kind of works. So if you look closely, you can see it's scrolling through these places. It's right next to the edge, because remember, I took out the padding. Um, and if you'll notice that it, there's a lot of space between them, like look, here's number four, and number three is up there. I know why that is. Let's go ahead and go into row, and let's do height wrap, wrap content. Go ahead and run that and see what happens now. And this should be kind of squished up together now. And actually there's not enough to scroll, so I wanna go ahead and change that. Let's change it to 50. Save, format, save, run it. I'm using Control R to run. Here we go, we can scroll through these. So not, not the prettiest right now, but this is working. So this is the basics of a recycler view setup in Android. But, if it, but as I said in the beginning, we need to, we need to set up a horizontal um, so let's see how we do that. Um, actually, I already have something up and I've already Googled this, but and Stack Overflow is your friend, by the way. Um, and if you look, here's an answer here. Um, let's see, Linear Layout Manager. It looks like we just, so we have our Linear Layout Manager and I can show you where it is. Linear Layout Manager. We're using, we're passing in just the context, but it looks like we can pass in a context and some other stuff, so horizontal. Let's see what that does. So layout, let's see. Layout manager dot horizontal, false. I'm gonna go ahead and run that just to see what happens. So now I'm gonna scroll left and as you can tell, look, you know, it's completely different now. But there's a couple of things I wanna do. Um, I wanna change this to a card view. So I'm gonna do card view. Uh, let's save it and uh, we need to add some margin. So margin 12 DP. Um, let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. 
So now it's kind of working. Let's see what else we can do. Let's do 200 DP, 400 DP, save it, run it, and see what happens. So here, this is kind of like a Google Play style horizontal list right now. Kind of cool. We can add more stuff to it, make it fancy. If you like this video, let me know and I can make more. If you're, or if you get stuck with anything, please leave a comment. This is going up on YouTube, so please just leave a comment and I'll, I'm pretty, like 99% chance I'll get back to you. I check all of my comments. So to close up, this has been kind of a cool video on how to create a horizontal uh, recycler view in Android Studio. It's kind of cool. There's some stuff we could add, like maybe snapping where it snaps to the center. Um, but for the basics, this is pretty, this is kind of cool, you know, in how many minutes? 16 minutes. We just come up with something that's kind of cool. So hopefully, you know, you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments. And if you want more videos, let me know and I'll make more. Thanks.